So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the batteries out of a laptop battery, an old one, so you can recycle them. So the first thing I do is I crack the case open. Then what we want to do is um, get some pliers and probably a screwdriver. And open up the case fully. So we can see there, there's only six cells in this one. Some of them have eight, some of them only have five cells. Depends on the brand. Then what you want to do is get your pliers and rip off all these metal bits and you get the gist of that and do that with the rest of the cells now let's have a look and see what you do once you've got all the cells out I'll do those later okay the first thing you want to do is check the voltage if it's under 3 volts, it's probably not worth saving, but I'll show you how you can test that. So first we go over 20 volts DC, and we just touch negative and positive. See that's only 2.73, not a lot. I will charge it up just to see how many amps are left in it anyway. Yeah, 2.73. So you will find that the charge controller in the battery pack itself shouldn't have let it go down that low. But, you know, that's okay. So I'm going to use this uh, Opus BTC3100. And the reason I use this is because they can also discharge. So what I'm going to do is just put a couple of cells in there as an example. And automatically, you see it's already tested the voltage. It's now going to charge them. And that's going to take ages. So let's stop for a second and we'll just wait till it's fully charged and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, we can see that now both of those cells are full. So now we want to discharge them to see how much power they've still got in them. I don't think they're going to have a lot because, you know, when we tested them they were below 3 volts, but we'll find out anyway. So hold down on the mode button and you'll see it starts flashing and then press it again and you can see it now says discharge and the first cell is at 4.2 volts, the second cell is down at 4.19 volts and now it's discharging and if you just keep on cycling through the display button you can see the different status. So there it's discharged 3 milliamps um, that's the time but it does it in minutes and we can see that it's discharging at around about 10 amps per cell and now both voltages is about down to 4.13 um, if I go back to that 10 amps per cell you can change that by pressing current before it started um, so 10 amps is the max that this unit will do so we'll wait for those to fully discharge and when we come back we'll see how many milliamps it did actually fully discharge. Okay so those batteries fully discharged and they're actually not that bad. So the first one is 2163 milliamps and the other one is 2171 so those are definitely usable uh, so what you do is you write the number on them 2163 for the first one and 2171 and then what you have to do is fully charge them again once they're fully charged put them somewhere safe to the side and leave them for two to four weeks. The reason you want to do that is 
um, then when you test them with a multi-tester, if they've dropped in voltage, um, then they're self-discharging um, and they're not worth using. So you want to send them to the recyclers. But uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So that's how you recycle laptop batteries. In my next video tutorial, firstly I'm going to use a better camera, but I'll show you how to make the battery packs. So the first battery pack I'm going to make is a 12 volt one using a 3S battery management system. So that's really good for uh, running 12 volt devices like a laptop or a camera or a Contiki fish harvester. And then the video after that, um, I'm going to show you how to make a power wall battery that doesn't have a BMS but the battery charging is handled by a solar charge controller that can charge lithium batteries. So, hope you enjoyed it.